Hello, my name is Dustin Wolf and I will be talking about microsurfacing. Microsurfacing allows road owners to maintain roadway integrity at a lower cost compared to other solutions. High quality aggregates are infused with polymer modified asphalt emulsion to ultimately produce long lasting high performance wearing course. Microsurfacing is used to preserve pavement that is showing sign of aging, cracking, oxidation and other minor distressing issues. The microsurfacing process sets and dries in about an hour if the climate is desert-like. Otherwise, it can take up to a few hours. When compared to slurry seal, which takes about 24 to 48 hours to be ready for use, microsurfacing is the cheapest, most efficient way to add more friction to all roadways. The purpose of microsurfing is to ensure that all roadways have an adequate amount of friction, ultimately to avoid crashes and traffic that could hamper travelers. It is an alternative to completely replacing a roadway with construction and it is also much cheaper. With microsurfacing roads can keep an adequate amount of friction for up to six to eight years. This technique is extremely prevalent today as it has cut down the number of issues drivers experience on the daily. When concerning cost of microsurfacing, depends on the availability of the materials required to produce such the substance. It also depends on the availability of contractors. When a road has been microsurfaced, the roadway life increases roughly six to eight years. Microsurfacing costs per lane mile range from $1,000 to $34,100. The average cost per square yard when microsurfacing is about $2.75. Microsurfacing is less expensive when being compared to major roadway construction when it also creates less of an inconvenience for travelers. Microsurfacing should not be placed on highly deflective surfaces, cracked surfaces, pavements with potential base failure or dirty pavements. The materials used for microsurfacing must be placed at close to the job site as possible. Loader operators should take every step to avoid contaminating the aggregate with dirt or vegetation. Microsurfacing requires a reliable source of potable water to ultimately make sure it's good to go. TDOT works to ensure that the friction of interstates and roadways are up to par. Microsurfacing is a huge deal for them. I found that 10 year old microsurfacing technique resulted with the most friction so they ultimately went back to it after putting it away for a few years. Plans for microsurfacing in 2021 include improving roads that do not have an adequate amount of friction to ensure the safety of Texas travelers. Microsurfacing is an essential process that keeps drivers safe while traveling. Increases friction on roadways, highways, so that crashes are less likely to occur. The process of microsurfacing is much cheaper than conventional construction to replace roads. While it is less expensive, it also creates more friction over longer periods of time. When working with the materials for microsurfacing, it is important to put safety first and follow the procedures that were put in place to protect workers and the environment. While Texas has not had success in the past using the microsurfacing technique, it seems that over a period of 10 years, they have concluded that this technique is the only way to prepare slippery roads. These are my references and a few questions. Thank you.